The creator of Smash hates Melee, Mango Beast with the Canadian TOs, and can Ganon mains be normal? This is the Rat City Recap. <laughs> In a YouTube video released by our old ball and chain, Masahiro Sakurai, the creator of Smash went into detail about the new elements added when creating the third game in the series, Brawl. When talking about how online play was a crucial addition to Brawl due to the direction Nintendo was taking with the Wii, Sakurai commented on his own displeasure of adding online play to the series, saying, Personally speaking, I don't think online play and Smash Bros are a good fit for each other. One of the best parts of Smash Bros is how players can become champions among their friends, but being subjected to online competition can cause people to lose confidence, which isn't great. Not gonna lie, sometimes it feels like Sakurai says things to get a rise out of us, like an ex posting happy selfies after the breakup, but the guy is just going on with his life, and I honestly do understand what he's trying to say. The naivety of a 12 year old who thinks they're the best player in the world because they can beat their older brothers is ultimately a great thing for Smash, and while we disagree with this being something that should prevent competition, we see his perspective of wanting these experiences to be widespread. To be fair, prior to Slippy, a lot of us who showed up to our first tournament did so because we were that kid who was the best in our block trying to see if anyone out there is better than us. But alas, later in the video, Sakurai hit us with another jab on the way out with quote, Super Smash Bros. Melee was a very fast paced game, which made it incredibly difficult to master controls and made it too hard for our newer players. Super Smash Bros. Melee was a very fast paced game. Speaking on Melee's controls in general, Sakurai said, it was a virtue in some ways, but a pain point in others. Seems that our rocky relationship with our dad lives on for at least another Thanksgiving dinner, but at least he'll have some sympathy for us when our arthritis peaks when we struggle to pass him the mashed potatoes. Ganon main personified No Flux has posted an apology video this week asking for the Melee community to prove to him that second chances are still a thing. No Fluxes was banned from competing in multiple events and regions after doubling down and refusing to apologize for a video that came across as racist, as well as a past of repeated insensitive and toxic behavior online. While some tweeted their support admiring his effort and his best apology yet, others remain critical saying that this minute and 17 second video about him willing to negotiate doesn't quite do the trick. Fellow Triforce of Power user Mech, after continued support of No Fluxes in the past, would urge the community to let the self-appointed villain of Smash back into the scene. Face of members of the community questioning his championing of a banned player, Mech would post a twit longer that didn't necessarily help his case. The deleted post only lives on in selected passages which were screenshot and shared with the company. What the deuce? Although the post is all over the place, we are not trying to misconstrue Mech's words here. The overall point was about trying to create a new governing body for Smash to deal with the process of banning players. That said, the post was written in an overzealous and overly positive way that we've come to know Mech for, but in our opinion, it did come across a bit off and lacked context in certain sections. The most shared part of the tweet longer was that Mech had written out a slur in reference to the time a Smasher was being racist to him early in his days of competing. After the post was met with an overall vibe of, this is not it. Mech would shortly after delete the tweet longer and apologize, saying, While it came from the heart in a place of love and care, in the future I will look towards working with community pillars instead. Listen, there's a lot of nuance to this story that a five minute Smash Twitter recap series isn't completely equipped to handle, but if Ganon mains could only learn things from each other, no fluxes to try and learn something from Mech about apologizing and actually walking it back, even if he felt misunderstood. Battle of BC5 takes place this weekend in Vancouver, stouting themselves as Canada's first Super Major. The melee bracket features too many names to list, but I'll attempt it regardless. Mango, Jmook, Leffen, or Hungrybox, Zane, Amsa, Moki, Axe, Aklo, Nun, Fiction, and 400 other entrants are prepared to battle it in the whack. The bracket is so stacked, in fact, that at one point Mango was seated 10th, and he totally took it fine. Enacting every top player's way of creating change in the community, bitching on Twitter, we'd see a few last minute changes to the melee bracket, with Mango no longer playing left in to make top 8, and now being seated 7th. If you're watching this video on the day it released, you can catch the top 8 broadcast tonight on twitch.tv slash gallongaming, and check the Battle of BC5 Twitter for more updates. And in other news, this past weekend at Low Tide City 2023, the explosive Falcon player saw one of first Major? Super Regional? Who's making the rules around here? Let's say Major. Salt won her first Major in a dominant fashion, beating Axe 3-1 to win her semis and 3-0 Law twice to win the tournament, 
standing her ground in the homeland of the Texas Roadhouse Bar and Grill. At this past week's coin box, 6,000 big ones was up for grabs, and still unsponsored Cody Schwab took first place, with Spark making a huge run to take second, Hacks taking third, and familiar face Salt taking fourth. Leffen took seventh place at the online event, losing to Sheik players Crudo and Spark. CPU Zero and Spark, being in the same house, played their loser semis match offline and on CRT, which made it the only set of the tournament to actually count. And last Tuesday in the land of IRL, aka beautiful Austin, Massachusetts, we celebrated the death of our talented TO, Stock Money. No, Stock isn't allowed to actually die yet. He's just stepping down from driving an hour plus to Boston every Tuesday for our weekly NGPR, which Bonfire 10 took first place at with an accompanying semi viral tweet of our combos through the loser's run. That's all from the Rat City recap. It was my birthday a couple days ago, so as a belated present, like the video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment to get featured on the next one. Here are some of our favorites from the last video. How does Fresh Cut have so much money? I didn't even know what they were. They steal content. More on that next time. Dude, we're like half of 2023 and we had what? Two Melee Majors? I really hope someone is able to do something. I just want to watch some good Melee with the best players of this game. Well, someone did do something because we had one last weekend, we have one this weekend and one the following weekend. So we're good. We're good. See you later. Bye now. Peace.